I'm in the kitchen today making our secret ingredient strawberry sauce. This homemade strawberry topping is perfect for cheesecakes, for strawberry shortcakes, but especially ice cream. Let's get started. So I have a saucepan here, it's a medium saucepan, and I'm gonna set it over medium heat, and I'll add about one and a half cups of quartered strawberries. Then I'll add three-fourths of a cup of sugar and half of a cup of water. And I'll let that start cooking together. As this heats, the sugar will start to melt and the strawberries will start to soften. Once the mixture comes to a boil, you'll notice that the water starts to turn a little bit clear. That sugar is dissolving in the water. I'll reduce the heat a little bit and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Mix that in. Next, we're gonna add a cornstarch slurry, which is what is gonna thicken that sauce a little bit. So I have two teaspoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. I'll pour that together and just whisk that until it's smooth. And then I'll slowly drizzle it into the strawberries. You wanna make sure you don't just throw the cornstarch powder in the sauce or you will end up with clumps. So be sure to dissolve that cornstarch in the water. Drizzle it in. It's important to keep stirring. You pretty much wanna stir constantly so that sugar syrup doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. The heat is on low and we're gonna let that boil and simmer for about four minutes. That's about how long it will take for the sauce to thicken. You're not waiting for that syrup to get super, super thick because it will continue to thicken as the syrup cools. But after about four minutes, you can go ahead and turn off the heat and I'll remove that pan from the heat. And then it's time to add our secret ingredient. We add one tablespoon of butter to the mix and it just adds a richness, adds a little bit of flavor. It makes the sauce so good. Yes, you can make it without that little bit of butter, but we just think it makes it just a little bit extra special. Now at this point, you can work with the texture of your sauce. If you would like a smooth sauce, you can run the sauce through the blender and it will just blend those strawberries up and make a smooth sauce. You can take a masher and mash up the cooked strawberries to get them into little smaller bites. But because we like strawberry sauce with a few strawberry chunks in there, I actually add in about another cup of quartered strawberries into the sauce. And we do that just so that there's nice solid chunks of strawberry in there. It makes it so good for shortcake, pancakes, cheesecakes, ice cream, all of it. But again, you can make your strawberries smaller if you'd like, use strawberry halves, however you want the syrup to go. You can just set this aside to cool slightly for however you want to use it. Our favorite way to serve the sauce is over ice cream. I hope your family enjoys this sauce for all of your summer picnics and family gatherings. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for a new video.